Hello, our action comes to you from the English Midlands, from the King Power Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And this has all the makings of a highly engrossing match. It's Belgium versus Wales. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. The starting players for Belgium. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Toby Alderweireld plays with Jan Vertonghen at the back. And in attack, Aidan Azar starts alongside Romelu Lukaku. Look at the starters for Wales. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And the match begins. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. Well, a yellow card so early in this one, Stuart. Well, it doesn't matter how early it is in the game. That's a poor challenge and deserved the booking. Nicely timed tackle. Top class defending. Kiefer Moore. And options in the centre. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. It's got to be! Well, he went for power and might be regretting that now. Vertonghen. Axel Witzel. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Nice ball to switch the point of attack. Well, you can't watch Kevin De Bruyne and not be impressed, I think it's fair to say, Stuart. What in particular do you expect to see from him in this game? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Oh, did so well to deny him.
Who can he pick out? Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Ramsey. The ball is loose. Well, that's the end of that for now. High pressing at its best. Good bit of pressing. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. Vertonghen. Timothy Castagna. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Oh, nice ball. And just slightly offside. And a poor ball. Well, no stopping him. Space and time for the cross. Well, not a great cross, making the goalkeeper's job rather easy. Well, I must say, he acquitted himself well under pressure. Well, the cross goes in, but there's no one available to snap onto it. And room now out on the wing. Has someone to play it to. Excellent save from Thibaut Courtois. De Bruyne. And now they have the ball back. Couldn't convert. <laughs> Won it back. Oh, big chance. Well, fantastic reflex action. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Did well to win the ball back. Joe Allen. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Well, no surprise there. Belgium have had more of the possession, but it's been a frustrating performance from them so far. They just haven't had enough guile in the final third. It's all been a bit too predictable, which has to change if they want to win this one. I must say, this looks promising. Can he put them in front? Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. De Bruyne. Good looking sequence. Axel Witzel. Well, not precise enough with that attempt at finishing. Well, Kevin De Bruyne is a wonderful player, one of the best in the world, Stuart, but even the best have their off days. Well, he's had no real impact on the game so far. Yes, he's been tightly marked, but he has to work hard to make things happen. He's been really disappointing.
promising move from Belgium and space to cross it on a poor ball and easy for the keeper and the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time and they just let his opponent glide by and foul it is then Really sitting deep now, that could be problematic. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Kevin De Bruyne, midfield organiser supreme. But is he going to be a bit disappointed with his own contribution? Well, he didn't contribute enough in that first half. I think he needs to work harder to get on the ball. He was far too static. In my view, he's got to make more runs behind this back line in the second half. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Will this corner bear fruit for them? Well worth, I think, at this stage, going back to the chance from earlier. Delivering it. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Danger averted for now. Might be able to set up the chance. And that is how to block. Has a go. Well, able to close down the shot. And just putting it over the top. Stuffing out the danger. Bale. Wonderful chance. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Not a great pass. Bale. He's blocked it. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. Crossed in there by Gareth Bale. And he did what he had to do defensively. Well, it's great when you can rely on your keeper. Well, as you can see, they've done everything in terms of creativity. They've made opportunities, but the finishing hasn't been good enough. At some point, they have to finish one of these chances off. Being pressed and pressed high. It needs an accurate cross. Well cleared away. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. A real opening now. It's got to be. Oh, and a goal from Azar. The first goal to give his side such a boost here. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance.
are back underway and 1-0 it is let's see what happens next Kiefer Moore and teammates to play it to and they deal with the threat this time He's showing a real will to win the ball and an astute piece of defending and they know they need to stop him how about the cross? Now well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. Good tackle. Bale. Well, sloppy in possession. 20 minutes to go. And now here's Aiden Azar. De Bruyne waiting. Jason Denier. Lukaku. Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. And De Bruyne firing it over. Well, he almost headed it in. Brooks Morel and the pass made was intended for Gareth Bale but he knew he had to get to the ball and he did Brooks and now Davis fine cross into the middle and a goalkeeper in great form and he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there that is brilliant and they will make the change now. Who's going to get on the end of it? Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Well, they can keep possession now. He continues his run. We're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Trying to deliver it accurately. And possibilities here. Cutting in, what can he do from this position? And space for the cross. Still not clear. Oh, what a fantastic save. Well, that's a match-winning save there. Not long left now.
playing it in on a corner like that every goalkeeper's dream really and room now out on the wing and a small victory for the defender against Azar oh he's left his marker for dead and tipping it over the crossbar if they can score again from this corner it probably would be the end of the story Now sending it in. He succeeds in clearing it. Good tackle. Could be a chance to break here. Firing it in. And a body in the way. And a poor attempt at a challenge, and on he goes. A wonderful intervention. What can they produce on the flank? Crossing possibilities. And cuts inside. That's all they can conjure for now. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, Derek, it was a really tight game, but they were the better side over the 90 minutes, and they fully deserved their victory today. A pretty useful night's work from Aidan Azar. Your verdict? Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent, and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today.